Hello and welcome! I'm Kim, and together with my dogs, Bobby and Pilou, I live in my self-built camper van, and we are getting ready to travel Europe together. Come along, as we say yes to new adventures! just woke up. We're going for a little walk in the woods that was next to our parking spot. It's today evening when it started getting dark. I arrived there around 3 I think. Maybe even sooner. I've just been hanging out there and then when it started getting dark I was the only fan left so I didn't really feel welcome in the evening because oh because a car went by my van, checking it out, and then a different car came by, it was honking its horn, but that was basically it, so it was a little bit uncomfortable getting to bed, getting to sleep, and then I woke up in the night because I heard noises, and I looked out the curtain, come on, I looked out the window, and it turned out that there was another van, so that made me feel super comfortable, I don't even know why, but it did. I felt really comfortable and then after that, this morning I woke up and I was gone. <laughs> but I had a good night, a good night's sleep after like half past one. But it was just so weird. People watching my van and people honking like I'm not harming anyone, I'm just standing there. But yeah, we're just now gonna go a little bit for a little bit of a walk to walk the puppies and then I need to get uh, internet reception, so we're gonna get into so sort of closer to a little town and find a parking spot to do some work, and then we'll see what the day will bring us. up at a grocery store which are closed on Sundays because I have good cell reception here and internet reception because I need to upload the video that I edited yesterday and there's also a gas station here where the diesel price is 187 1 euro 80, uh, 87 cents so that's a good price so I think I'll fill up again I'm only at the half of the gas tank but I'd like to have a full gas tank but I was thinking of going to Denmark because I want to go to cooler climate. Now it hasn't been that warm right now, but I keep seeing that people are going on holiday to Norway and Sweden so that the, what's it called? I want to say boundary, boundaries, but that's the literal translation from Dutch borders, <laughs> borders. That at the borders, there is a lot of stau, traffic jams, and there's just so much going on getting into Denmark. Then I was just looking around like, okay, I'm now like in the, in the beginning of Germany. Am I going to go up? Am I going to go up to the right, to the east? Or am I going to go down to, to uh, Czech Republic? It's warm in Czech Republic, but it's really beautiful. Or Poland. I could also go to Poland. It scares me though. It really scares me, but it also like intrigues me. Like, can I go there? Can I go head out there? What's there? Like, it's beautiful? Are the people nice? I don't know. So I have to think of, from this point, like, where am I gonna go? Because from this point, I kind of need to choose. So today I will just be hanging out here a little bit because I saw that the A7 from Hamburg, I think, up to, to Denmark, has been closed off anyway. So it's probably horrible traffic everywhere so I'm not gonna go further away 
on highways, but I could go like half an hour into some other town. I've been hanging out in the same area because it's really nice here. But I'm just thinking like, would I like to go to Czech? The only thing is that there's no, no sea because it's just inland. And I was kind of thinking of being at sea, but that doesn't even matter. I don't like swimming in the sea or anything. There's lakes. So my mind is going like, am I going to go to Poland or Czech Republic or Denmark or I'm not going to go to France or anything because that's way too hot. And I've already gone up, so that wouldn't make, <laughs> would make any sense. I could go to, like, Poland, Czech Republic, and then go down, like, Switzerland, and then France. What's, what's in between there? I don't even know. Other countries. Italy? <laughs> oh, that's way too hot. And we have a tiny budget. But I'm just thinking, like, the world is my oyster. I can go wherever I want. But every time I see stuff about Denmark, it's that it's hard to get there that it's difficult, that it's expensive. I don't know. I'm just getting a little bit less enthusiastic of visiting Denmark, but parking, doing, doing stealth parking in, in Czech Republic, that's like a big step for me. So I might have to visit camping campsites and stuff like that, but I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> My TikTok, I'm not going to do it. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> But we're just hanging out here. It's not that warm. It's good because the battery was getting a little bit low. So it's a good thing that we're in a parking spot and that the solar panels could get some light. Just gonna edit the other video too because I have really good internet here. And I'm gonna I'm planning on doing Sunday Wednesdays again. And then I don't have to worry about it for about a week <laughs> about the internet and all that. But I was just looking around like, am I gonna go to Czech Republic? Because from here out, I need to choose go up or down. Well, not really down, but go up or go sideways in the land. Yeah. I'm going to think about it, okay? You're going to hear from me about that. Okay, so I just got an SMS from, a text message from my uh, provider that I've used up 50% of my whole EU bundle. It's, it's, it's not the 1st of August, so maybe I'll be fine for August, but it's still July, I hope. I think it's still July. Is it July? I think so. I think it's the 31st. Or is it the 1st? I don't even know. But that's a bad thing. Because <laughs> this is my first video I'm uploading. And I want to do two a week. So I guess I have to start working. Yeah, I think I have to start finding Wi-Fi. <laughs> this is the thing I didn't really think of. Well, I did think of it. I just hoped I didn't need to do that. But it, I don't want to run out of internet. I need the internet. <laughs> Crap. Okay, but I'm I'm really thinking of going to to Czech Republic. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just figure out the internet thing. I have to upload this video that's happening right now. Otherwise, you won't have a video tonight. But okay, I have to start working in advance and finding Wi-Fi. That's what I have to do. guys oh, I just got off the phone with my mom I uh, we're still in the neighborhood of Osnabrück and we are in a forest and I was looking for there's this really big watchtower here like huge and I thought oh we might go up there I think it will be beautiful so I wanted to go there so I didn't type in the right parking spot address so to Google Maps was telling me to go somewhere and it scared the crap out of me because it was like highways going like this and I'm Dutch you guys I'm used to highways being like this so oh it's like it was like a roller coaster and I keep thinking these German people they're crazy for doing this but yeah they like these roads I have to get used to it I was actually thinking today of going to check or maybe closer to Czech Republic because there's also a lot of hills and then I said to myself and also a lot of these roads <laughs> but that might be beautiful too we're in the forest now 
I still have the dogs on the leash because there's a road over there. And there's a lot of ferns and I don't know. There's a lot of animals here, so I can't really see. Well, let's see. But there's a big watchtower, so I'm going to figure out hopefully where it is. So we can go there. I have no idea where it is. But hopefully we can find it and go up there because it looked so cool. So let's go have a look around. You guys, I can't tell you how many emotions are going through me right now. I'm so happy. I'm having a, a lot of fun. I'm scared shitless most of the time. <laughs> and I just, my mom is like, yeah, you want to go do this? I'm like, yeah, I do. I do want to go do this, but I, I hope so much that I'll be more comfortable in a little while. Because every new thing I do scares me. <laughs> but we'll be fine. We're going to this huge watch hour, watch tower to get up. Which will probably scare the shit out of me too to get up there. But I really want to try. If it's open, I'd like to go up there. Oh, we're going to have a beautiful walk. A beautiful view. But I'm just, my emotions are like the road I was just on. They're like on a roller coaster. Guys, it's starting to rain and it's all uphill. <laughs> but we're just pushing through. Oh my calves, I got these shoes from my mom, which are special shoes. She had them, I needed sneakers and she had them in my size. They're called MBTs. I don't know why, but they have these rolls. <laughs> They're a little bit like this. So you stretch your calf muscle. It's for if you have shorter calf muscles. But now I'm going uphill with these shoes. So it feels like I'm having even more of a climb, gosh. But it's good for my calves to work. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's really beautiful here. It's really hill. There's a lot of hills and we're walking on the asphalt path. Don't know if that's the right way, but it's really pretty here. Yeah, I'm loving it. Hello. Good job. Bobby, come here. Good boy. Okay, good job. back on the leash again because I heard something in the woods I thought it was an animal that I couldn't see what it was because the path is a little bit lower than the outer edges there was a lot of growth a lot of foliage so I couldn't see what it was I was like come here babies put them on the leash but now it started to rain pretty well not be bad but a little bit bad more so I just wait under this tree for it to pass and then we can go further up we're like half an hour away still <laughs> To climb up, up, up. It's really, it's a big climb. It is. You guys, I have to show you this climb. Like, I don't know how to show you guys. It is like this. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. That's a lot of climbing. And for everyone that's new, I'm Dutch. <laughs> I'm used to having flat surfaces. <sighs> I have them on the leash because I keep hearing stuff in the bushes and I'm like, what's that? And Bobby even was smelling to the side. I was like, okay, let's hope there's no boar or anything because I cannot run. <laughs> Downhill, maybe I can run or roll, but <sighs> we're almost there. Well, we're not almost there at all, but it looks like it's a little bit more flat up there. And the 
again, as always, after pushing myself up the mountain, sweating like crazy, my body is relaxing, I'm feeling better, and I am enjoying the view. It's so beautiful here, it's so different than what I'm used to. It's so hill, hilly, it's gorgeous, but it's like straight up. Oh, it's stunning though, there's beautiful flowers here. Yeah, it's really beautiful. But um, I always love that how just going for a walk in nature calms me down. I think that the place that we just got to where the Venice parked, it's actually a good place to sleep. I really think so. But there was also something else that looked like a camper. That was a little bit of a truck. So yeah, we might stay there. I was thinking of going more to the right in Germany, which would be east. All the way, maybe a little bit more to Czech, Czech Republic because it looks really beautiful there with a lot of hills. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that, but I'm thinking if I just practice, 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 I'll get more at ease in it. It just scares me if there's a lot of hills because I'm not used to. Don't know if I'm allowed to break. Don't know how to get down the hill safe. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's so gorgeous here. It's a shame I don't like these because look at this. These are ripe and yeah, I don't like them. What are they called? Are they called brembles? The Dutch word is bramen. I don't know the word, but they are ripe, ready for picking. There's a whole bunch of them up here, which is funny because down when I was climbing up, in the underneath the trees, there are these tiny little ones. And here up here where there's a lot of space, there's these big luscious ones. Yeah, but I don't, oh, there's mint here. There's, I was thinking, what am I smelling? There's a whole lot of mint. Oh, there's a lot of mint. Oh, it smells great. That's so cool. So beautiful where we went up the hill and now we're slightly over on the other side and the view is just it's bonkers look at that view like you can look so far and it's so weird to me that this is only I think like two and a half maybe three hours away from where I live in the Netherlands and it's only an hour and a half away I think away from the German uh, the Dutch border but Holland is so, or the Netherlands is so flat and this is so extremely hilly well I, I don't know are these hills or are these mountains if I would jump off her I would start rolling down <laughs> when is it a hill and when is it a mountain I don't even know but I think they're mountains to me, to me, a slight hill is already a mountain, but it's so steep, it's so beautiful. I really want to find the watchtower and hopefully we can get up. I don't even know if I can take my dogs up there, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Gosh darn it just realized we went the wrong way now we have to go further <laughs> but still stunning walk so I'll just take it but I was like wait what where did we take the wrong exit like there weren't even that many exits <laughs> oh but it's a beautiful road though
You guys, the Google Maps said it was a 42 minute walk when we started. And we're almost there because I took a different route. I think it's really pretty what I took because I have a lot of view here, but it took us about an hour and a half to get here. We're not even here yet, but it's up here somewhere. We also have to get down. <laughs> Well, we have time. It's only five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> no, but we have time. Until it gets dark, but like, gosh darn it. This was a beautiful walk. Very intense with all the climbs, but like, ah, oh, so gorgeous. If I would have known it would have taken me an hour and a half, I wouldn't have gotten up here. So I'm happy I just went for it, not knowing it would take me this long. But it's so stunning here. Oh, I really like it. So I'm pretty sure we're almost, oh yeah, we're here. Oh, it's really cool. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stairs. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, well now we're here. We have to get up there. I'm not the only one that's tired of this climb. My babes are also tired, so we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Oh, look at the view. Oh, I kinda wanna go up there, but I think it's better if we just hang out here for a little bit. You guys, look at that. Okay, so we had some time to rest. We are going to conquer. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go. Well, I want to go up there, but I'm kind of scared that I'm not, that I'm too chicken to get down. I'm going to. I have to figure out how I'm going to um, carry them both up here, but I really want to try. <laughs> okay, so we're back down again. We went up there with their, our other people up there right now. So they went up and I thought, okay, yeah, let's go up right now. If I get too scared, I have help. So I went up. I stepped onto the platform. Platform all the way on the top. Took a video. Put the dog down. Took a video. Hardly moved. <laughs> went back down because it's so scary up there. The guys are laughing, having fun. I was like, oh my gosh. It's too scary. And the dogs did great. I held one in each arm. So the descent down was also quite scary because I couldn't hold the railing. <laughs> but we went up and I came down. I was I was not afraid to look down, but I fixed. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I can be proud of myself. I did it. This holiday is going to be a lot about overcoming your fears and overcoming obstacles because I was really scared to go up there, but I did it. And my legs started shaking when I was up there. Like I could hardly stand. I was thinking this is ridiculous it's just it's safe it's a platform you're not falling off but my legs sort of it's like you don't have a grip on your body when stuff like that happens and the dogs were like are we gonna be up here now and then I picked them up they were like are you gonna hold on tight to us because we need to get down safe but we're safe and it's fine <laughs> Guys, I have to say, going down is way easier than going up. And it looks like going up, I took a really, um, I took a route that was way harder. Look how pretty this is. Cause I just started walking and from there I tried to find the hill, tried to find the thingy where I went, the watchtower. And if I would have gone from the car, Immediately to the watch out where I would have had a different route. <laughs> so we had 
a harder route getting up. But look at this, you guys. <laughs> it is so beautiful here. So sad. There's a bird down here and his friend got taken away by a predator bird. It flew off when it saw me. It's in distress, but look, I have a tiny friend. I need to put it to safety. I feel bad for it. I don't know if it was his baby or his spouse. But it took his friend. Okay. Well, that was a wild adventure, you guys. We came, I was following Google Maps. It told me that there was a road here, but there's not. It was telling me to walk past the highway. People are going super fast here, so I, listen. So we didn't want to walk there. So we went through the bushes, brambles and all, but we made it back on the path how we came. So we're almost at the van, we should be, but like, yeah, Google Maps, there was no path there, so thank you for that. I did saw a beautiful deer though, so that was really cute. It was looking at me like, are you are you seeing me? No? Yeah? No? So we left at a quarter past three, and it's now almost six, or it is six, and we're almost there. So yeah, that was almost a three hour walk. <laughs> oh, I really need a shower. Tooties. Try the tooties. Now we gotta wake up. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up! <laughs> This is how we wake up every morning. My nose has been bothering me so much. I don't know why. It's so annoying. <laughs> you have to vacuum or clean or anything. Bobo, go to Babelega. Go to Babelega. In the morning, we have cuddly time. They play. They greet each other. We just hang out. <laughs> we cuddle. I get groomed. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, stretchy stretch. Stretchy stretch. Oh, nice. Oh, nice stretchy stretch. Oh, nice. Do you guys know what day it is today? It's the 1st of August. <laughs> They're playing. Which marks my six month anniversary! morning walk we're not going very far i was thinking of maybe going a little bit further today driving maybe an hour and a half two hours i don't know because i have decided we're going to czech republic that's what i'm saying right now even though czech republic is a little bit more scary to me but i'm starting to like feel comfortable traveling we've had three nights very comfortable sleep uh so i'm getting adjusted to sleeping in places that i don't know Anyway, 
today is our six month anniversary. Yay! We made it! <laughs> it's so weird because it feels like I've only been doing this for like four weeks. It's so strange. Okay, so I'm ready to leave. I changed the position of this plant. It is now living here in the kitchen, which is a really cute place for it. I hope it'll grow on here. That will be super nice. I glued on the pine cone so it stays in place. And the other pine cone is in the place where the plant was sitting because it was so dark. I don't think the plant will live there. I cleaned everything. This, by the way, is a rack I got for like four euros. It's a drying rack or clothes rack. I don't even know how you call this. And I have it out basically all the time. It sits on the countertop, so I don't really have another space for it to sit. But I use it so many times that I really need to be here. Every, basically every night or every other night I shower outside and then I have my bikini to dry and my towels and they hang on here which is right below the air fan so that works brilliant so yeah whenever I go driving I put it here with everything on there that needs to dry I also just put clothes on there to air if I want to put it back in the closet I just leave it there to air for like two days and then I'll put it back so now we are going to go on the road a little bit. I think I want to go to Aldi Orebe because I need to get some sparkling water. But then we'll be ready to go on the road. Okay, so I was feeling confident this morning. I had a good night's sleep. I'm more relaxed. And I really want to head to the east of Germany because it looks pretty and I maybe want to go to Czechmark. 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 Yeah, I could go to Czechmark. Czech Republic or Poland. Czechmark is a cross between Denmark and Czech Republic. <laughs> Czech Republic. Anyhow. But I was finding, I was having trouble finding a place to stay. Now, what I was thinking is, uh, I have to go somewhere to Kassel, which is about an hour and a half drive. I didn't really know where I would stay then. So what I just typed in the Google Maps, which took me about, I think I've been looking at this for 20 minutes before I decided. I'm going to a McDonald's because a McDonald's has Wi-Fi. There's also a railway there. So I want to do some grocery shopping. I could do that. It's close off of the highway that I need to be. Once I'm there... I can figure out if I'm tired, if I need a break, if I want to have breakfast or whatever. And then I can decide, so it's an hour and 10 minutes drive, I can decide what I want to do when I'm there. Do I want to go any further? Do I want to find a place that's close to there? Maybe I can drive for another hour, I'll see. And I think that when I do that, the places that I'm going to be, I'm going to cross a part of the Germany that I think is similar to this. And then I will get into a part of Germany that has more hills and everything. Hopefully. So we'll see. I'm getting I'm in the van. We're going to go now. And hopefully everything will be great. If there's going to be a shit ton of hills in, the, in this road, I'm going to be scared of shit. How long was it? Uh, 120 kilometers, I think, on the highway. And we are now in Diemalstadt. Really happy we got here. Traveling went, was very well. I just stick behind the trucks so we don't have to go too fast. 
I did good. I was a bit anxiety. I had a bit of anxiety in the beginning, but when the first time I had to get on the highway, there was a truck next to me and I saw I could get in front of it. So I just used the turbo diesel that I have in Sophie and I just got on the highway, which gave me a lot of confidence that we could do this. So we went for a long drive all the way. To, I think this is east to the right. And we are here now. I have to figure out what we're going to do, but I'm so proud of myself. I did so good. I was hardly scared. I was relaxed. I got the radio to, uh, 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 what's it called? Classical music. So I was listening to classical music all this time. It's now around half past 12. So it's time for brunch, lunch, and I'm going to figure out what we're going to do. Last time I got these because I thought it would be cute. They are Agnes wasabi style, so they are nuts, peanuts with wasabi on them. They were so spicy. I couldn't even eat them. I had a few and my whole mouth was burning and I gave it to my parents who actually like a little bit of spice and even for them it was way too hot. Okay, you guys, so I went a little bit overboard on the bread because I bought Lagerstang inside that anyway. And then when you check out, there's this little bakery and they had these beautiful breads, so we had to bring it. <laughs> So I have four, which is way too many. I hope I can eat them tomorrow still, but I'll show you guys what I got. So here's the bread. I got the normal Lagenstange, and then they had this one, which looks super nice. I had a cheese bread and the normal um, pretzel. I got nectarines, sparkling water, some beautiful cookies. I got a cucumber and this cheese. I don't know what it is, but we'll see. It looks like some sort of brie. And some eggs. Oh, and the zucchinis. I got three cute zucchinis. So this is the catch of the day. And combined, it was 16 euros and 70 cents. So we arrived. It's not that special and it's raining, but we can have a little break. Not, I don't think we'll stay here. I thought I could walk. Maybe we can walk up here. That looks nice. But I'll just, we'll just hang out here for a little bit, have something to drink, chill out a little bit, and then I'll just figure out where to go next or if we're going to stay here. I would like to talk. I would like to say something. Can you please be quiet? She's like, no. I do love that there are so many hills here, though. It's so stunning that Germany has so many hills or mountains or whatever you like to call it. And the Netherlands is so flat, so it's so strange. But I'm starting to get the hang of it and I'm starting to relax more on the highway, which is good. So I should probably keep on pushing going on the highway because every time... I decide to go on the highway. I get a little bit more anxious, but then I'm on there and I'm like, I'm doing great. This is going great. You're doing good, Sophie. You're doing good. You're awesome. <laughs> so probably you should be on there more to get more used to it. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down, but we can.
get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the skies fall. You know what, you guys? I found a beautiful spot here to sit on a little bench. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Bobby's joining me. Here he is. He's always sitting next to me. Hi, Bobo. Hi. Kissy, kissy. He's so sweet. Oh, you guys, six month anniversary. Six months! It feels like it's like two months. Six months! We've been so far already. We've been to Zeeland, Fries... No, I'm saying Zeeland. Zeeland, Friesland, Groningen, Drenthe, Utrecht, Zuid-Holland, Noord-Holland, I think. I think Katwijk is Noord-Holland with the Zeefonk, with the bioluminescent waves. We've been to Germany, Belgium. We're in Germany now. We're heading somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make Czech Republic or Poland. I would like to. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but we'll see. I've gained so much knowledge in the last year and a half. I've changed in a lot of ways. I used to be really focused on time, never being late, focused on having things in order, working or living from month to month having spending time in my house i'm spending so much more time outside right now and i'm doing all different things and oh yeah what i wanted to say what i forgot to tell you guys i had the mri in the beginning of my van life stories because what happened was when i was finishing my van build I wasn't feeling well and I fell off a horse many many years ago and I have carpal tunnel and stuff and I thought there was something wrong with my neck because I was getting overwhelmed being in public and stuff but that could just be my personality but I was also so tired headaches I wasn't feeling well so they did an MRI which turned out everything's fine then they did a CT scan of the brain everything's fine so there's nothing to see on there so my neck struggling is stress plus it has had an injury so just the muscles are upset and shortened probably but it didn't have anything to do with the uh, vertebrae or the brainstem I guess that's what it's called everything's fine and then I went back to the doctor saying like everything's fine but I'm not feeling right I'm a vegetarian, is there anything in my blood work that's not right? So we did blood testing, which was a huge deal for me because I have like a needle phobia, so I faint when they do that. But they took care of the, the blood test and turned out that my vitamin D was super, super, super low. My B12 and my iron were just perfect, which I didn't think would be perfect. So I have been taking vitamin D pills. Look at Bobby going he's walking up the hill <laughs> he's so funny so I've been taking vitamin D supplements and I'm actually feeling way better I do notice that when I travel like this and it's stressful for me it's good to, to take it slow and <laughs> he's interrupting me to take it slow and to have my rest if I need it and take care of myself but I'm feeling way better so guys if you don't feel well please check out your blood work if there's anything going on there so yeah that happened so I've been taking <laughs> look at him go so I've been taking vitamin uh, D supplements for six weeks and I've been feeling way better now so yeah now I just have to keep a daily dose to keep it up and yeah so what I wanted to say about six month van life, I feel like a totally different person. I'm not, of course. And when I go on trips like this, I really, really find my comfort zone and go above it or out of it. And sometimes I get stressed out because of it. But the thing is, when I was editing back, 
I was talking about it and it looked way less worse than it was feeling at the time. And when I look back at it now, it's only two days ago that I was getting so stressed. It's not that bad. Just at the moment, I get anxiety and I get almost like... When I was climbing up the um, watchtower, which had eight stairs, when I was up there, my legs were shaking. I really had this horrible afraid of heights. And my mom... And I got down real quick. Real quick. And my mom said, shouldn't you stay up there until it's gone? I was like, no, it only gets worse. <laughs> It just gets worse. The thing is, I got up there, I took a video, I went down. That's all I need to know. I don't need to go up there and stay there and try and con confront my fears. I just figured, I'm up here, I did it, let's get down. I don't have to like it. <laughs> but it's stuff like that, that I just... Uh, you know, normally I, do, I know what I'm doing. I go all the same routes I usually take. I go to the same stores. I go to the, I meet the same people. I see the same people. And now every day is different. And every day I meet different people. And every, well, I don't really meet people, but I see different people. I have to talk a different language in the store, which I'm actually getting more comfortable with right now. And there's all these different roads that I do not know. There's just different things that I have to keep in mind and, and it's just happening all the time all different 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 and it's really expanding my comfort zone the place that we found right now when I got here I thought oh it's it's a little bit like maybe a little bit dull but then I was sitting there and it's so quiet and there's water and there's trees and it's really quiet and it's I thought this is a perfect place to rest and then tomorrow we'll just continue our journey and then we found this beautiful walking path which is awesome look at this so yeah six months I'm really looking forward to the next six months and um, yeah, so for work now, I'm uh, babysitting my friend's kids. I have a lot of people with kids around me because my original, I have an original degree in uh, babysitting. I've been a nanny for a long time too. And I'm trying to build up all the other online things, but I'm just not really focusing on that. I have time and some money I'll, I leave and I'm just having so much fun I'm just loving it and I think it's really good that I get to do baby steps because it's a lot I'm feeding them a little treat because they stop barking it's a lot that comes at you having to build at first having to decide you want to buy a van what van buying a van learning how to drive that van then building everything out then vlogging it learning how to edit putting everything on YouTube and then I got to just, I'm very, very happy that we didn't travel that much in the beginning because it took a lot of getting used to living in the van on my own. Like so, everything's different. What, what I really like so much is that the first time I was sleeping in the van, the van was slightly off. I was, I was in like, I was in a, I was on a boat. I couldn't really sleep. I was really aware of that the van was crooked. Now I've actually come to realize that I love it when the van is a little bit more, not like this, but a little bit more uh, sloped to the side where my head is because it keeps me on the cushion and not sh uh, sliding down the bed. Even if I lay straight, I just move so much around in bed that I go down, down, down to the bed and then I my feet touch the wall. I don't really like that. So I've actually gotten more used to or more comfortable sleeping in a little bit more slopey bed. And it doesn't matter how it, how the van is parked. I can sleep anywhere. The only thing is if I get out of the bed at night to pee, I sometimes fall almost onto the kitchen because the van is so crooked. But I didn't need levers, levelers at all. I just have fun <laughs> sleeping so crooked. And that, these are so many things that are so funny to me. And I love keeping it tidy it's not that much work tidying the van i keep adjusting things i got the plant i put it in the back and as a worried plant mom i realized that's not a good place i put it in the kitchen now i'm thinking there might be too much draft but we'll see about that we'll just keep going my battery's dying so i have to stop talking but yeah there's just things like that happening and i'm absolutely loving every minute of it
arrived at this beautiful spot. It's a really big gravel ground in the village. We're going in the village now. I'd really like to see some of it. We crossed a couple of super cute villages on the way here. And it's so darling. The only thing is that there's two other dogs. And Bobby and Blue were like, this is our terrain. I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Herzlich willkommen. Well, you feel very welcome when it says that. End the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to say yes to Viva Pictures.